Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful evening here in the coastal bend. Plenty of sunshine out there, a little bit of cloud cover. We actually had temperatures all weekend long running just a little bit below average. But of course, all eyes out into the Gulf and the Caribbean. This is what it'll look like in the Dominican Republic today as they are bracing for anywhere between five to eight inches of rain. And this is obviously a result of tropical storm. Laura, it's making travel very, very difficult and uh, has been creating a lot of hazards for much of the Caribbean islands. And then it's going to move out into the Gulf. This could be a pretty big hurricane as it approaches the upper Texas coast as well as Louisiana. So we are definitely going to be watching that. Back home, we're looking at partly sunny skies, 89 degrees. Winds are out of the east, southeast, about 15 miles per hour. Daytime high today 92 our normal high for this time of year is right at 94 low this morning of 74 officially again we did pick up a trace of rain out at the airport but still close to two inches below normal for the year 92 in Rockport 97 in Beeville 90 in Kingsville you factor in the humidity feels a bit warmer than that Ingleside feels like 98 100 in Beeville feels like 97 right now in Corpus Christi we had those strong winds that rolled through yesterday afternoon. Today, just a little bit uh, more typical breezy conditions. 24 miles per hour was our peak wind gust. 23 in Ingleside, Beeville, about 18 miles per hour. Did see a few of those showers and thunderstorms again pop up across the region. Most of those now just pushing out of Duval County. You can see those that blew up just south of Freer and north of Hebronville. As far as the shower activity, pretty spotty. It looks like we got close to a half an inch of rain in Kingsville and that cooled things down pretty considerably with some of those showers out there. But of course, we're still going to have some tropical moisture in place. Isolated showers possible as we head into Monday and maybe Tuesday, but this is where we're focusing on out into the Gulf. Now we can see a few of those showers again as we head into Monday. Then the showers come in across parts of Louisiana as that storm traverses into the upper Texas coastline. But look what happens Wednesday into Thursday. That's when we're going to have that stronger storm that we're going to be watching. Now Marco is going to come in first. It's going to be a weak category one, 75 miles per hour, winds out of the northwest, 13 miles per hour. Looked like it was going to move right inland, but now it's taking a turn along the coastline and that's where I was saying looks like it could be a tropical storm as it gets out of the Port Arthur area Beaumont then bringing that heavy rain into San Antonio we do have hurricane warnings and uh, tropical storm warnings in effect those have been pushed westward as that storm now looks like it is going to hover right along the coast, but heavy rain into New Orleans. Then here comes what is likely to be at least a category two hurricane. So we've got one Marco. Now we have tropical storm Laura. It's now looks like it's going to skirt right along the coast of Cuba. And if it stays out over the water, that's going to mean that it's likely going to be a stronger storm. It's going to come out on Tuesday and then it looks like it's going to come in right there, right around Port Arthur with winds of 100 and five miles per hour. That's going to be on Wednesday. So we've got the first hurricane on Monday. The next one coming in on Wednesday. Then it's going to move on out. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy, mild 77. Tomorrow looking for a high temperature of 93. We'll see isolated showers in the next couple of days. Probably hot and humid right around the middle part of the work week. But things could change as the tropics have been very, very active. Javier. All right, thank you so much. Now